what a Christian strives to do is build bridges, not walls. The army marching down here, they is scaring people. The beauty of this sacred place would be desecrated. The levee is right behind us. Their plan would be to build more or less at the base of the levee, which would leave La Lomita and, and all the land on the other side of the wall. The river is just about 100 yards southwest of us. We really might be right up against the wall. I made my final vows there in 1980. I had a deep sense of reverence and awe just to look at that little chapel and imagine all the people who had come and gone there. What's a middle class gringo doing down here? When I graduated from A&M, I taught school down here in San Isidro. That's when I fell in love with the valley. We've survived here for 150 years. No one ever thought we had to build a wall. Opposing the wall doesn't mean we want to have an open border, but it does mean we really want to treat people the way we would like to be treated. We really do want to treat people like human beings, and a wall does seem just a tad inhumane. The church in the valley is suing the government to protect the old chapel, thank God. We feel that it's such an important issue that we need to take a stand at the very beginning. It's a, a matter of principle that, you know, diocese doesn't believe in the border wall and doesn't want it being built on its property. And we're trying to uh, uphold what we believe is the First Amendment right of freedom of religion. Besides the wall itself, the, the proposals that I've seen that the government has put out is to build about a 150-foot strip that would go along the wall that vehicles could be used to patrol along there. And I haven't measured it myself, but you know, by eyeballing it, I would think that that 150-foot strip would be almost next to the, to the church, if not have to actually take part of the church, which is a completely different issue altogether. Customs and Border Protection has said that they're going to have an enforcement zone cleared of everything extending out from the border wall 150 feet. So I'm standing at the 150 foot mark and La Lamita Chapel is entirely within that enforcement zone. This means that if Customs and Border Protection sticks to the plans they've announced, the entire chapel will be in the enforcement zone and could potentially be destroyed. We have our military now on the border. Yeah. Barbed wire used properly can be a beautiful sight. The wall is one thing, and the army marching down here, that's another thing. I think it's meant to intimidate people 
from the other side who might want to come across, but he is scaring people here. Good to see you. See you too. They're the pastors from up and down the river. Razor wire is just a, that's how I wanted to say, it. it's an escalation. Well, it symbolizes a, a war zone. It's like, you know. It's like a war's been declared. War's been declared, mm -hmm. yeah, mm -hmm. so. The symbols clash. The symbol of La Lomita is that we want to be humble and kind and hospitable. The wall is saying we don't want anybody who's having trouble to come here. See, I don't see it that way, Lloyd. I'm the odd man out here, okay? Because I voted for Trump. How do you see it? I think that we're going a little too far in labeling the president in being fear-mongering. I just think that there's better ways. They don't need to build a wall. They've got technology to keep people out if they want to. But someone's got to defend these people that are coming in very aggressively. There's people that are ready to, to, to barge the border. I mean, do we have a right to just let that happen? So let's see here. People that are screwing up the neighborhood, they're not undocumented people. Well, Trump has got it twisted all around. There's a lot of people who just have a natural fear of these strangers coming across. They're not like us, you know. I think, I think he's getting a lot of mileage out of that. Thanks for coming. Okay. Okay, piglets. Here comes the Border Patrol now. Undocumented people, they know to come to the church. The word is out. You know, you can go to the church and they'll help you out. We had a uh, young fellow who'd been kidnapped and abused by the cartel, and he escaped. Somebody helped him come here, and I'm glad he did. And this is not, un not uncommon at all. I came here to the church to pray, 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 to We have these trailers, but that's what they're for, for, for uh, refugees. Okay. Dije que me llevara a una iglesia más cercana a la que pudiera. Y él me trajo aquí a una esquina y se fue. Me dijo, yo aquí te dejo y ya, me dijo. Bueno, ahora sí puedes descansar y respirar y dar gracias a Dios. Y luego veremos qué, qué será el camino mejor. You have border patrolmen right on top of that, about 100 yards away. You got security all the way around. Why would you need a wall? Our great-great-grandparents got married here, and it was our church. La Lomita was our church. Amen. Amen. Ay, qué miedo. Ahora sí, thank God, ¿verdad? No, thank God. Okay. It just belongs to the people, and it shouldn't be taken away from nobody. We 
want to come here as often as we can before that does happen. It's a part of our culture. Even for people who don't identify as Catholic, they still come. It's for everyone. My husband died three years ago. And I can feel my husband. We'll be off like a herd of turtles. Looking good in the neighborhood. <laughs> hey, Andrita. <laughs> ¿Cómo estás? La madre fundadora. <laughs> this is a, our official welcome home for the migrants and the winter Texans. So, Andreita, she watches over this chapel like a guardian angel. And, and I've always wanted the seniors to meet Andreita. Andreita is 82, but she ain't bashful. Gracias a todos y que sigan unidos y Dios me recoge. Pero si no, aquí nos vemos otra vez. Aquí nos vemos otra vez, seguro que sí. Gracias, Andreita. No sé por qué quieren hacer mugro aquí. Yo digo que sobre mi cadáver. On the Rio Grande, and we're a little bit upriver from La Lomita. A Christian is more interested in hospitality than hostility. La Lomita stands for that. <laughs> <laughs>